Oh yes, my fellow hunters, hello and welcome as we today dissect Chaotic Gormagala. And by that I mean examine close his armor. Because, look, it's taken Monster Hunter many, many years to get here, but finally, we truly are... Going Berserk! <laughs> not looked at this show in years, really what were they doing with the CGI? In any case, yes, we have Berserk and we have Strife. Two skills that you can of course use separately, but are very evidently designed to be used in tandem. They marry beautifully and what a wonderful ceremony it is. I feel like I'm getting lost on this metaphor, but the thing is both skills are rather vague in how they're described. They're rather vague in how they actually work, and even more confusingly, one of them, the most important to understand, Berserk, well works differently in the training room than it does in an actual hunt, which gives a vast different interpretation of how powerful it is. So today I want to go over both Strife and Berserk and let you guys know what exactly you're dealing with should you choose to use them. Strife then is easier to put across. Basically, when you have red health, you will immediately gain a bump, a boost for having it. And that boost is affinity and extra element. The amount of affinity is 5, 10, and 10% respectively across the skills, and the element is at level 3 plus 15% extra element which is obviously rather good. Then, when your red health increases, you get more and more and more of it. Well, once you reach 60% of your total health bar is represented as red health, you will unlock the full potential of the skill. Now, you just have infinite stamina for as long as you are this much red health, the affinity bonus increases to 10, 15, and 20% respective of level 1, 2, and 3, and the elemental bonus becomes 20% more element at level 3. That is really, really good. So yeah, that is a lot of elements, and 20% affinity is nothing to sniff at too. But the thing is, it's not very practical having that much red health. So you have two choices when it comes to strife. Either you use it for the bonuses you get for having any red health, as that happens quite a lot during the hunt, or you combine it with Berserk to get the full maxed out bonus instantly and maintain it for as long as Berserk lasts. So, it is important then to actually identify and have a look at just how good viable Berserk is and how exactly to make it work for you and of course to understand it entirely. And well, that took some doing because again, it's incredibly vague. Like god, I love it when my activate effect takes effect and activates. Okay, that's not fair. There is obviously a bigger description, just not on this particular page. In any case, when you switch from uh, Rorange, Rorange? I didn't know whether to say red or orange, and went with Rorange. When you switch from the Rorange scroll to the blue scroll, well, all your current health will flip to red health. So if you're at half health, you'll get half a bar's worth of red. If you're at full health, you'll get a full bar's worth of red. Doesn't matter what green red split you have, all of it currently it will become red. That is easy enough. It will then start draining and draining and draining quite fast to level 1 and fairly slow at level 2. If you're going to use Berserk, use level 2 or don't use it. Level 1 is utterly hot garbage and gives you basically no time at all. So at level 2, you will be sat there slowly, slowly draining your health and it will last for about a minute and a half until you hit zero, at which point you will die. <laughs> Okay, imagine, imagine I died. You can't actually die in training. Your health just goes back up to full, so just, just imagine the death there. So that's interesting, right? The first thing to note then is it of course instantly activates and keeps active any red health requiring skill, i.e. strife, i.e. resentment, and so on and so forth. So that's something that can always be easily comboed into using Berserk. The main key factor here, though, is while you are in this Berserk Blue Scroll Red Health Only Draining Health state, you do not take damage from monster attacks. Like, at all. Like, nothing. You still get knocked around, you still take the impact, but you take no damage. So now you're sat there thinking, wait, it drains for a minute and a half and you don't take damage. 
So you go into blue scroll, beat on the monster with reckless abandon for a minute and a half, swap back, have like a max potion, swap back, have another minute half, repeat. This is broken, what the hell? Yeah, it does initially appear that way, especially when I show you that a single gourmet fish is nearly enough to counteract the drain. Especially when I show you the new Kashala blessing that lets you get level 3 and therefore health regen passively does work while this is on and coupled with a gourmet fish is enough to completely counter the drain so that you will never die from it. Especially when I show you that because these two pieces of armor come with bloodlust, which means you have to deal with frenzy to use berserk, which means uh, that when you beat the frenzy, well, that will give you a full heal, which will reset, for want of a better word, the berserk timer, and also make you more powerful because now you've got the positive beaten frenzy effects amped up by having bloodlust. It all sounds wonderful, doesn't it? And you could add super recovery dango on top of that too, and well, now congratulations, you are quite literally an immortal god. I guess I'm out of a job. Rest in peace, the immortal build. Ah, impossible! Here is where we have the catch and why the training room is not a very good way to look at the actual strength of this skill. Because what truly happens is that when you take a hit while in berserk, the rate at which your health drains will ramp up. And up. And up. Meaning that after I took a hit from this Lucent, I got an entire, and are you ready for this? 23 seconds before my health would have drained to zero. And yes, you can use health potions like normal and it will heal you and add more red health like normal, but in the time it takes you to finish having the potion, you will probably have drained most of it because of the increased rapid rate it drains thanks to being hit. So now that we know this, now that we know taking monster damage ramps up how fast your red health drains, knowing that you will get hit, because unless you're a perfect speedrunner, in which case you don't have to use Berserk anyway, you will get hit. So on average, you will get about 30 seconds. Let's say it takes you 5 seconds to get hit, or perhaps a little bit longer, but I think 30 seconds is fair. You will get 30 seconds of you don't take damage, but you still get knocked around. That's kind of really lame, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If it had like a rock steady effect, and you just tanked the damage and didn't get moved and could just keep hitting, then yeah, 30 seconds of you can't stop me monster, I'm going to hurt you, is incredible and w everyone would be using it. It's kind of similar to a skill in Frontier, where Fatalis would possess you when you died, revive you back to full health, and then you had a timer where your health drained, and during that timer, monsters couldn't damage you, they couldn't knock you down, you became super powerful, and you basically got like a, a bonus mini life to do as much damage as possible before your second death. That was a very fun way of implementing it, and I have no doubt that Berserk here is definitely drawing inspiration of that given the Frontier devs as part of Sunbreak. But in this case, basically what you are doing in using Berserk is thus. I want 30 seconds where I don't take damage and I am a bit stronger because I've used Strife and maybe Resentment, but I still have to avoid hit the monster attacks anyway because they'll knock me down and while I've been knocked down, I can't hurt them and being immune to damage doesn't really matter if I can't hurt the monster because I got hit and I've been knocked down. And you see there the kind of self-counteracting nature of this skill. If you still have to dodge the monster attacks, then you're not getting the advantage of not taking damage from the monster attacks. And if you just ignore the monster attacks because you're not taking damage, you won't be doing damage to the monster, therefore ignoring the benefit again of not having to worry about taking damage from the monster. Especially if you're playing a weapon that works on counters, because when you counter, you don't take damage anyway. So a sword and shield, a great sword, a long sword, you probably don't really care too much about this skill either. So the other question then, the other reason you might use it is, hey, okay, well maybe Strife is strong enough that it's worth going berserk to instantly get the full effect. Well, if 20% element, infinite stamina, and 20% affinity is worth having this happen for, then yes, and perhaps for something like Jewel Blades, that actually might be worth it. You might get 30 seconds of insane burst thanks to Strife and Berserk. But what I want to stress here is, do not look at Berserk like a survival free damage tool. It's not. 
Berserk exists as a trigger everything there is to do with red health and make sure it stays triggered for 20 to 30 seconds as you fight the monster mostly normally during that time. And looked at through that frame of mind, it is certainly not a bad skill, not at all, but it is certainly not a broken, oh my god, this is crazy, I can't believe they would put this in, that it initially seemed like when in the training room you can completely counteract the drain with just a few items and then be functionally immortal. So, yeah, that is how it all works. If having 30 seconds of guaranteed red health where you can't die, but you still have to fight normally, is worth it to your weapon, then this is worth it. If not, you're probably better off using better pieces of armor than the chaotic pieces that give berserk. Oh, all right, I hope I have put that across in a somewhat understandable and helpful manner. And, well, until we meet again, like you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye <laughs>